We can now create the vertical geometry for road number one. We want to ensure that the geometry matches in with the existing grade of our existing roads here. We create the long section in the long section view so we can restore our views here. Before we start creating it we're just going to turn on a few models in our long section view. Turn on the models survey road crown, survey sewer pipe, survey water pipe DICL and tin ground. We can now profile our alignment string. We click on the profile button and select anywhere along your alignment and accept it. Once we have the profile of the existing surface you can then maximize your long section view. Creating the vertical geometry is very similar to creating the horizontal geometry. We're simply going to start off by picking points on the screen. And to do this, we go back into the super alignment toolbar, come down the first column to append VIPs. The first point is going to be placed at the start of the road here. Now it's a good idea to zoom in very close here until you see this vertical line. This is showing the road crown of the existing road. And if we didn't zoom in close enough, when you pick your point, you can actually snap to either this point here or this point here. And we want to ensure that we snap to the center. And you want to make sure you don't pick tin ground, but you pick the survey road crown model and accept it. The second IP point, if we just zoom out, is going to be at the other end of the existing road crown and you can see that's this section along here. So we just go a little bit higher and a little bit to the right of it and it should snap to it so we just pick once and you'll see it snapped to the tin ground so we pick again and this time it's snapped to survey road crown and just accept that. The next two points are just going to be created using typed input so we're just going to type in a change and a height and we do this just so everyone has the same data. To do this just right click anywhere on the screen and select typed input and our first change in height will be 400 space 50 and then you can hit enter. Our next, our next IP once again typed input so right click typed input and the change will be 600 space 66 enter. For our final IPs, we just want to tie back into our existing road. So we pick somewhere near the end here and it'll snap. Once again, we don't want the tin ground, so we pick again and we want to snap to survey road crown. Accept that point and then as we did at the start, zoom in nice and close and then just pick and accept, making sure that we have the model survey road crown. As we did with the horizontal geometry, you can now press escape to view your vertical geometry. Looking at our vertical geometry, we can see that we have rather a steep grade here, shown at the top of minus 4.5%, and it also cuts through our existing pipes, underground pipes. So we want to extend the grade of this pipe somewhere out to here. To make a better judgment on how far out, we're just going to turn on the grid. So we can go to the settings button here, walk right on settings and come down to grid. We want to tick on the draw grid and we want to set our Y grid to 10. And the reason for this is that we've got a vertical geometry exaggeration of 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. So X will be 100 meters and our Y grid will be 10 meters. If we then click on set, you'll see that the grid is drawn. So just having a look at this, we probably want to extend this grade out to about 250 meters. The easiest way to do this is to go back to the first column and use the insert VIP grade. So this is going to match a grade at a change. So our starting VIP will be number two. Our grade 
if we just click on this icon and we can say at point and just zoom in nice and close to our first segment and pick and accept once again you need to ensure that you keep picking until you pick the model alignment and accept that so the grade here will match the grade that's shown at the top we don't want to go a distance because we want to go to chainage 250 so we select chainage from the drop down menu and type in a value of 250 and click on insert and if I just zoom out now you can see that our grades match and our chainage is at 250 meters so you can finish on this panel we now want to insert another IP and this time we'll put it in between existing IP5 and existing IP6 and we're just going to do this by intersection of two grades so we go to the first icon once again and we come down to the third last icon intersect VIP grades our start VIP will be number five and you can just click on this icon again and pick and accept it and we're going to type in a grade of minus five percent our second IP is going to be IP number six and this time instead of typing in the grade of 1.558 we want to match the grade between 6 and 7 so we change our mode from grade to VIP number and our end VIP will be VIP number 7 and we can just click on insert there once again we can finish on this panel we now need to insert our parabolas between our IPs but before we do this you'll note that we have some redundant IPs so we can just delete those additional IPs we do this by going to the first column go down to delete pick and accept on IP number 7 and then pick and accept on IP number 2 inserting the parabolas is very similar to inserting horizontal curves in the horizontal geometry we go to the move edit icon and come down to the same icon we used previously change curve and then just pick and accept on each of the IPs to add the parabola length so the first one will have a length of 140 meters the second one also has a length of 140 meters the fourth IP will have a length of 200 meters and the fifth IP will have a length of 100 meters you can see as we type in our lengths they're shown at the top here the same as our grades before you go any further it's a good idea just to check that all your grades are matching and that your lengths are the same as what's shown here if you're happy with that we can now finish on the creation of our uh, alignment string and to close it we select the tick or the finish button come down to the first icon finish and answer yes to the question 